Oh, just look at you. Look at you. You think you have the right to say anything about this new Charlie's Angels movie. You gave us Ghostbusters 2016. Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. Oh, just, just get this smug, this smug, arrogant little face off of my screen. That's much better. A Twitter user was talking today about, or was this yesterday, about Elizabeth Banks, her movie Charlie's Angels. He says, I knew when Ford versus Ferrari and Midway were out, but not Charlie's Angels, because they're talking about the marketing. It wasn't very well marketed, first off, about this film. And like Paul Feig's Ghostbusters, the marketing you did have was to women. Also, thank you so much, Jedi Magtow, for subscribing. If you guys do like my content, it only takes one second to like, subscribe, share. Also, stay tuned. I might be doing some ghost hunting or busting or something of my own from a very special haunted location Wednesday night, Thursday night this week. So definitely stay tuned for that. And like Paul Feig's Ghostbusters, the marking you did have was to women, perhaps even anti-male. Want men to attend your film? Mark it to them. Don't exclude them with virtue signaling. Right? Exactly. Exactly. And of course, a Paul Feig. Paul Feig. He has to put his little, his little two cents in. See, he, he does it even before I start reading it. He, he just pisses me off right even before I start reading it. Anti-male, oh, oh. <laughs> virtue signaling. God, you guys are boring. You're boring, Paul Feig. So a movie starring a woman has an agenda. A movie starring men is just a movie. No, we have movies that are just movies starring women all the time. They don't have to have an agenda, and you know that. You know that, Paul Feig. Oh, we got it. I'm sure Elizabeth is grateful for your mansplaining. Thanks for taking the time to be helpful. Paul Feig, stop. Nobody wants you to say anything about anything. You're only using this because you're controversial and you can get people like me to make a video about it because I'm still, oh, I still remember. I still remember every, mm. That's how all this started was Ghostbusters 2016. This whole attacking the fans, attacking the male fans especially. So of course he's going to put his little two cents in here because it's relating to this whole marketing crap. This is what started the fandom menace in my opinion was Ghostbusters 2016. All of these, oh, you're just man babies. Oh, you just, you just don't like women if you're watching every, no, 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 no. We like good movies. We like good movies, Paul Feig. Oh, Paul Feig, you've been on my list for a while. You know, one more, one more for Ghostbusters. Ooh, we got it. I'm sure Elizabeth is grateful for your mansplaining. Just shut up, Paul Feig. This crap is the problem with modern film. These little directors who get in, I mean, at least Elizabeth Banks was being grateful. She's at least saying, hey, you know, if, you, if you're if you're gonna have a stinker of a movie, at least have your name on there four times. And she's defending it. She says she's proud to have it out there. That's good. At least she's doing that. I mean, she got a little bit mansplainy with her, with her or whatever, woman-splainy with her, you know, oh, we already have 37 Spider-Man reboots and we already, you know, we need all the men we can get to come and watch this there are also men don't like women movies no men just like movies that are made for them you know because it wasn't made for you know it wasn't made for you do we remember that era because i do oh paul Fee. Of, of course i did make an official decree as queen of the fandom menace here at least her movie was watchable and funny one more for Ghostbusters. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.